Hi y'all, it is Callan from The Browser Company and I'm here to talk to you about Arc Sync. Now, before we dive into how to set this up, how to get started with it on your mobile device and on your desktop, let's just talk about what Arc Sync is. Now, Arc Sync allows you to have your home on the internet, Arc, everywhere or almost everywhere right now. So Arc Sync is an encrypted syncing service that allows you to have your folders, tabs, and spaces across all of your Mac desktop devices, all of your Windows desktop devices, and now all of your iPhones. Now, what does this mean as far as combinations? Can you just do it on your Mac devices and then just do it on your Windows devices? Absolutely not. Arc Sync allows you to sync your Mac devices with your Windows devices and your Windows devices with your Mac devices. So you can do desktop to desktop, Windows to Apple. Um, you can do Windows to iPhone. You can do iPhone to, to Mac. You can do all three or, or just two or none at all. It's super exciting. Um, and I'm really excited to show you how to get this set up on your desktop device. We're going to be looking at it on an Apple device, um, but you can do a similar process on your Windows device. And we're going to be looking at it on the Arc Search app to set up the Arc Sync from my Apple device on my desktop to my iPhone. All right, let's get started on my desktop. So this is my desktop uh, Arc. You can see it right here. And to get Arc Sync turned on on my desktop device, I am going to go up to Arc. I'm going to click Preferences. For those of you on Ventura or uh, on uh, Sonoma, you're going to see Settings instead of Preferences. We're gonna open up my settings here. You're gonna see your wonderful ARC uh, card. I love it. And we're going to see sidebar sync right here under the account setting. Now, for those of you who've never turned on ARC sync before, you're gonna see turn on, which is gonna be the button. For those of us, myself included, who've turned this on before, um, we're gonna see that toggle. So to turn it on, you're going to simply either click turn on, or in my case, click that toggle. It's going to think for a moment and now it's syncing. I know that sounds so simple, but that's it. That's all you have to do. Um, if you're doing it between desktop devices, you're gonna do the same process on all of your desktop devices. You can do a similar process on your Windows device. If you have questions about the exact steps, check out our help center for the Windows folks out there, but it's that simple. And now everything's syncing. So you might be wondering, well, you've done that on your desktop. How about on your mobile? So let's take a look at my iPhone. So how do we get this set up on Arc Search? So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to click on Arc Search and it's going to open the app. Now, instead of looking at this lovely tab I was looking at earlier today, we're going to click into that tab carousel where you can kind of like switch through any of the tabs that you might have open. And we're going to click into the bottom left hand corner where you see that little monitor. I'm going to click right there and it's going to bring up this little window that says sync with Arc Desktop. Now, since I have an Arc account on my desktop, I'm just going to click sign in with Arc and I'm going to use my password. I use password manager. Everyone should. Um, and I am going to click continue and it's done. <laughs> I'm logged in. Now, I know it looks like nothing happened, but let's actually click back into that little monitor button at the bottom corner of the app. Look, instead of it asking me to sign in, I now have my spaces. You can see down here on my desktop that it's the same thing. It's all of my tabs, all of my folders that I have pinned, and it's all of my spaces. If we slide through, we can see all of my spaces that are on my desktop are also showing up on my mobile app. And that's it. That means that now I have all of my pin tabs, all of my folders, and all of my spaces on my Arc Search app on the go and on my desktop. Now, you might be wondering, hey, you have all of that stuff, but what about if you want to put a tab from your mobile device onto your desktop device? Well, that's super easy. So let's give it a try. So I've been looking at this tab, as I said, I opened it earlier uh, because I'm excited to see this musical on Broadway and say I want to get tickets. So I'm going to open up the ticket tab and it's telecharge and I'm going to be like, mm, I want to do this on my computer. I think it's going to be easier if I do it on my computer. So instead of going through the whole process on my uh, phone, I want to pin it to my desktop app to do it later. So to do that, I'm going to click the little carrot in the bottom right corner now. It's going to open up all of those things, all of these settings and stuff. I'm going to click on that little pin right next to telecharge.com. And instead of it 
just offering me the ability to favorite it on my app, it now shows all of my spaces and all of my pinned folders. So for me, since this is to buy tickets in my personal life to see a musical, I'm going to pin it to my personal. And it said pin to personal. And for those of you who were sneaking on my desktop, you might have just seen that not only did I pin it on my mobile device, it also appeared right here on my desktop. And it also appeared as a pin tab with a little mobile um, icon right next to it, which reminds me that's from my mobile. And now I can click into this telecharge tab on my computer and I can buy the tickets here. Now you can pin as many tabs as you want from your iPhone to your desktop device. If you're on another desktop, you can pin tabs and they'll show up on your other desktop device, though we don't have that little cute icon for another desktop device. And you now have ARC everywhere. So as simple as that sounds and seems, that's all, that's how it works. So let's Remember, the point here is that ARC is with you everywhere. Your home on the internet is coming with you. And now you have it in your pocket on the go, in your iPhone, on your desktop devices, both Windows and on Mac. So before we end this video, I just wanna do a little bit of housekeeping with you. So for anyone out there who's sort of bummed because they're an Android user, um, they wanna use ARC Search, they wanna have ARC everywhere, well, you're in luck. We are working on it. We're working towards having Arc Search on Android and Arc Sync on Android. And we're actually hiring. So anyone who's a developer for Android, go check out our jobs board and come join us and help us build Arc on Android. And for those of you who've been with us long enough and have used the Sidebar Sync app or the Mobile Companion app, we're actually getting rid of that because all of your mobile app needs are now being met by Arc Search. So make sure you log in, you get Arc Search on your iPhone and you start using Arc Sync there instead of on that old companion app. And that's it. Um, last thing to say is please share your feedback. Let us know your thoughts and your feelings. You know that we're all building ARC together and the more feedback you share, the better the app gets both on your mobile devices and on your desktop devices. So thank you so much and looking forward to sharing more features with you soon. Have a great rest of your day.